Hey everyone, this is Mr. Bourne, your math teacher from Minnesota, and this video is going to show you how to use the TVM Solver app. This stands for Time Value Money, and uh, it's available as an app that cannot be erased. It's on here permanently on the T84 Plus, the T83 Plus, and the TI84 Color Silver Edition. And hey, I even got a little screenshot for you to prove there it's on the, the new color TI84 Plus. Hey, it's it's key for key, so it's it's exactly the same. Even though the the screenshots here that uh, you're going to see in this video are a little bit older, you will learn how to use the TVM Solver app to solve the future value of an investment, solve for the time for an investment to appreciate, find the monthly payment of a loan or mortgage, super duper useful, and to analyze credit card debt and payment options. This is great so that you're not a sucker to the credit card companies. Now, if what you're looking for is not covered with these four, because it can do a whole lot, just you know, watch all four, you'll get the hang of it, you can solve whatever kind of individual problem that you might have here, if it's a compounding finance problem. All right, hey, this is supported with a two-page PDF document covering all the examples. Just go to andyborn.com slash math. You'll find it right there. You can download it to your tablet and watch it and, and then go along. Okay, just a few seconds. I want to explain something really cool. This app is worth the price of the calculator alone, people. All right, now back in the day, you had to get a specialized financial calculator to do these sort of calculations. And no one bought these unless you had the business to, unless you were like a finance major in college or something like that, or you needed it for your job. There was no reason for you to get this. Now this is available on the T84 Plus, easy to get, easy to use. All right, example number one. This is going to take advantage of these kinds of formulas. You're not going to be doing these manually. The solver will do it for you. So if you're, <laughs> if you're even watching this video, I'm... I'm certain that you've seen these formulas before. Well, if not, then you're going to be delighted. All right, here we go. Compare which investment earns more and by how much. Uh, let's see, you have $5,000. Alpha Banking has a savings account that earns 1.3% compounded quarterly. Yes, that's important information. Bravo Savings has a savings account that earns 1.3% compounded monthly, assuming you neither add nor withdraw from the accounts. What will the investment of 5000 be worth after five years? Okay, well, let's use the calculator. Let's see how to put these in. All right, so here is a TI-84 plus. Let me position it. Can everyone see that? Okay, good. I don't expect you to answer me. You're just watching this. So you press the key on the keypad here that says apps because this is an app, not a program. It is under number one. and hit uh, enter again or press number one again for the TVM solver. All right, here we go. We've got a bunch of variables that we are going to put in some information and we will solve for the one that's unknown. Alpha Bank is the first one. Cool feature, number of compounding periods. Now the first one was for five years, so you can put in five, and it's compounded quarterly. So there's going to be four times for every five years. So put in five multiplied by 4. Here's a calculation that you can put in. And when you move your cursor away from this field, ba-boom, it'll put in the calculated value for you, 20. Very handy. Okay, our interest rate was 1.1, no, I'm sorry, there we go, 1.3%. And our um, principal value is 5,000 bucks. Now, we're setting it to be a negative. Don't put the minus key on the keyboard. Put the negative key. It's under the key, which is marked 3. It's on near the bottom of the keypad. Negative 5,000. This is a cash flow model. Just think of this as money that is going away from you. You're putting it into an investment of some sort. It's going away from you. That's why it's negative. Payment will leave 0. Future value. Uh, we're going to calculate that in a moment because this isn't the real answer. Uh, let's see, PY, that would be uh, payments per year, 4, compounding periods per year, 4, and it set it automatically. Here's how you do your magic. You put the cursor on the field that you're looking for, we want to compute future value, and then press alpha, enter, and ba-boom, there it goes. Positive $5,335.23. Now you notice this little square here appeared? That is the calculator saying, hey, 
This is the field that you just computed. There you go, pal. All right. So write that down someplace. And now we want to find out what the deal is with the future value over at Bravo Savings. Now it was compounded monthly, so 12 times, 5 times a year, 12 times 5, go down, it's 60. The interest rate was 1.1, $5,000 still there. And before we calculate future value, let's change compounding periods to 12 for both of these, and we're in good shape. I'll put the cursor back on FV and hit alpha and then enter and voila, $5,282.57 if we round it. Okay, so let's here, let's take a look, compare side by side Alpha Bank, Bravo Savings. Obviously, uh, we get a better investment over time with Alpha Bank. And how much? Well, just take the difference between the two. You make $52.66 more. Not bad. Okay, example number two. Right, so you've got a rare violin. Let's just say it's a Stradivarius or something. It has an estimated value of $12,000. Its value history indicates it appreciates. That means it you know, gains more value over time uh, per year. How many years will it take to appreciate to $60,000? Solve for N. So yeah, like let's say that you're just one of these schmucks that collect stuff and not because you're like truly interested in the, the, the craftsmanships, but you just want to make money off of it. So you buy stuff, you hold on to it, and then you sell it later. Yeah, okay, well, that's, that's cool. All right, so here, let's go to our Time Value Money Solver app again. And what we're going for is we want to calculate N. We want to see how many compounding periods it's going to take. All right, so we're going to change our interest rate to 14% a year. And our value here is going to be, uh, let's see, what was, what was the initial value? It was 12,000, right? 12,000. And this, again, is negative because it's money leaving us to buy that nice violin. Uh, zero for payment. And our future value, we do want it to be $60,000. So put in our 60000 there. And this is per year. So we're going to do it just once a year, compounded period once a year. And we're going to go up here to N, and we're going to have it calculate what N does here. Alpha, enter, and here we are. We get 12.28. Now, what does that number mean exactly? This number means years. It'll take 12 years, 12.28 years, for it to appreciate that much. Um, now, you can look on the, the PDF uh, handout here I've got for this from my website. 0.28, that's part of a year, right? So and it equates to approximately 14 weeks. So 12 years, 14 weeks. You hold on to this nice violin, and boom, you've made uh, like a whole bunch of money just in the appreciation, assuming you can sell it. Okay, moving on. All right, whoops. All right, so here we go, example three. Finding a monthly payment on a loan. All right, you want to buy a house valued at $312,000. Uh, your lender will finance it for 25 years at a rate of 5.5% interest. How much will the monthly payment be? Now, yeah, I covered it up here with yellow. I don't want to spoil the surprise. But here's the numbers we're going to be putting in. 300, 5.5% interest. The present value is $312,000. There we go. Now, this is positive because this is a loan. This is money coming at you to use for stuff like a house or whatever. Uh, we want the future value to be set to zero because that represents a loan that's all the way paid off. And this is compounded 12 times a year every month. And OK, we get most of it filled in here. Now this is where that handy calculation thing comes in. 12 times a year for 25 years. Just put in 25 times 12 and boom, 300 monthly payments. Let's take it down here to PMT, press the alpha key followed by the enter key and there are your monthly payments. Hey, negative, right? This is money leaving you. It's leaving you to pay back the loan that you got. 
$1,915.95. And example four, last example. Okay, so uh, you've stuck with me for 10 minutes, just a couple more minutes, right? This is a very good thing. Credit cards. You have a credit card with a $7,000 balance. You've been spending and having a good time and not caring about it. The interest rate as APR is 15%. Yeah, that's like interest rates you have to pay. That's good for them, bad for you. What are your monthly payments if you want to pay off the card and be debt-free in four years? Please, people, debt-free, good thing. We want to solve for payment. Now, we're going to do the same thing that we did for um, finding the monthly payment on a house or a mortgage, the same exact uh, process. So here, let's go to our TVM solver. Um, and put in what we know. We want it to be four years, so four times 12, there we go, 48 payments. The interest rate is 15%. Our, uh, our thing here is uh, $7,000 in debt, and future value zero, compounded 12 and 12, we don't change those. Okay, so here we wanna find our monthly payment if we wanna pay off this sucker in four years. Alpha, enter, and here's our monthly payment, $194.81. Okay, now, here is the part where you can feel all smart in, about paying stuff off. Let's say, let's just say, you are like, no, I can do better than that. I'm making pretty good money. I got a raise at my job. I can actually pay off uh, 100, uh, 250 every month. So... Let's just change the payment to 250. Okay, that's what you're paying. Now, you will pay it off sooner. So let's go up here to recalculate how long it'll take to pay off if we're paying extra. Alpha, enter. Hey, now it won't take 48 months. It'll take 34 months. 34.67 months. Very good, okay. So, um, so um, suppose we want to see how much money we're actually saving there. Okay, so I'm going to go up here to N and say, all right, we've been paying it off for 34 months. What would be the very last little bit to pay off because it wasn't precisely 34 months? We'll recalculate future value, alpha, enter. There we go. So after 34 payments of 250 bucks, you pay off the loan, and you have one little payment left here, $167.64. So it would actually be 35 payments total, but that last payment would be not the full amount of 250 Okay, so that's good. Well, let's, let's analyze this. Let's, let's see how much money we actually saved. Here's the analysis part. I break it down. It's real simple. With 48 months, you make payments of $194.81. Yep. You're paying out over that 48 month period $9,350.88. So, yeah, you can see why interest rates can suck when you're paying a loan. Um, paying off a little more each month, $250 for 34 months, is $8,500. So, that's a lot better. That's not as much money that you have to pay out. Now, that last payment was $167.64. So we add those up and you're actually out of pocket $8,667.64. The difference between paying this amount of money and paying this amount of money is $683.24. That's over um, you know, four years versus 34 months paying off this loan. That's no small amount of money. That's a lot of money. And I'd rather you keep it and not pay it to a credit card company. So be smart, people. You can do this in like five minutes with this uh, TVM solver. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for hanging in with me. Go to andyborn.com math to find the PDF file for this and a few other interesting videos on math lessons. All right, peace.